Hi, Paul Vickers here of paul-vickers.com. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'm going to assume that you've come to this video because you've an interest in affiliate marketing, or at least I hope you have. Uh, maybe something that you're looking to get involved with, uh, maybe something you're already doing but not getting the results that you thought you might do. Um, well, if that's the case, then this is just a quick, short, brief um, landscaping of what affiliate marketing actually is. Uh, I'll give you a couple of tips, and if it is something you want to get involved with, just the direction that you can move forward in. Okay, so we'll just basically start off with, like I said, a, a very short, descript landscape of affiliate marketing. Um, you may already be aware that it basically will consist of your vendors. Now, these are the people that actually produce the products or services um, that you'll be marketing. They could be digital products, um, they could be e-commerce, uh, physical, uh, whatever. Uh, then you've also, on this side, you'll have the customers, which are the buyers. Um, and then, quite simply, as an affiliate marketer, this will be you somewhere in the middle, hopefully with a smiling face and not sad. Um, basically, your job is to connect the two. Uh, so you need to bring the customers and the vendors together to hopefully sell the product and make yourself lots of money, whether it be pounds, dollars, wherever, whatever country you're from. Uh, so yes, basically, this is you, an affiliate marketer. Now, obviously, it all depend on how much money you make is or how good you are at your part as, a, as an online marketer. Um, now, I will have to let you know, and you may already know this, but 90% of affiliate marketers online are actually failing. Now, I know that's a shocking statistic, um, and it's very high, um, but there are only about, when I say actually failing online, I mean they're earning between $1,000, pounds, whatever, per month uh, or less from their marketing efforts as an affiliate marketer. Now, to me, I don't know how you feel about that, but that's failing. That's not a long-term uh, solid uh, business for anybody, really. Uh, now, obviously, that all comes down to the marketing side. Now, let me just get rid of this. So, basically, that was just a short landscape of what it actually is. Now, I will say affiliate marketing is one of the fastest-growing industries currently in the world. So, there is big scope there to make money. Um, but like I say, you just need to learn and uh, educate yourself on how to do it best. Now, there are companies, a lot of companies out there, uh, ClickBank, you may have already heard of. Um, we've also got uh, J, uh, CJ Affiliate, sorry. Excuse the writing. <laughs> um, we've got JVZoo. Now these are all companies that obviously you can Google and find where you can join. Uh, they all have vendor products available, so you'll search through. There's many categories, different niches. Uh, you'll basically find a product um, and then set out, get your affiliate link once you've joined the site and start marketing the product in hope that you actually get some sales. Um, but as an, if you're going to look at this as a long-term business um, and look at it as an entrepreneur and not as an affiliate marketer, then you need to actually educate yourself and learn before you even get to that point to know exactly what you're going to do and what in right order to actually make sure that you are in the top 10% of those people actually making a great living online <clears throat> and not getting yourselves in that 90%. Um, now, let me if we just take, I mean, at the time of recording this video, um, I'll just take um, JVZoo as an example. Now this site, they basically, you'll go to their website, they'll have lots of different products, all available for an affiliate marketer to actually market and make money from. But when you come to JVZoo's site, you as an affiliate, you will actually have to sign up. Obviously, quick process email, some uh, information about yourself to join as an affiliate. And a vendor, they actually can add their products or services that they want people to sell to this site too. So they will also have their details. And then when somebody wants to purchase one of these products, um, they also, before they can purchase, will also have to give JVZoo their details, such as a name, an email, address 
in order to be able to purchase something that you're offering them. Now that's all fair enough. Um, if you're actually going to be sending, sorry, just bear with me a second. Hope you're following this for me. I just bear with me, sorry. Okay, so let's say you've chosen a product or service from JVZoo. Here it is. You'll have the sales page, um, uh, and this will be the actual product. Okay. So, as your job as an affiliate marketer, what you'll have to do is obviously drive lots of traffic, people online, to this sales page, which will already be created for you. You don't have to worry about actually creating sales pages if you're going to do this model. Um, it'll be the, the vendor sales page uh, that they've got ready for you to use. And hopefully you'll send all this traffic. Now, obviously, this traffic here is what's going to be your big cost. Uh, unless you've got a great website where you get loads of free visitors all the time, which you can send them to, then great. Um, if you're just starting out, then I'm sure you're going to have to pay for quite a bit of online marketing to actually find these customers. So this is where your biggest cost is going to be. You'll send them, drive them to the sales page and in hope that they purchase the product. In hope. Now, I am going to let you know that not everybody, well, nowhere near everybody, will actually purchase that product. You'll be lucky for around about 5-10% of any traffic you build um, to that sales page purchasing. I'd probably say more on the 5%. Uh, so, obviously, you need to work out whether the costs of this traffic that you're building would be worth the, odd, the, the, the 5% of sales at this end. This is where the model kind of breaks down because that is not always the case. A lot of the time with these people that are actually not uh, uh, failing online as an affiliate marketer, this cost over here outweighs this, which is why you need to, from the very start, think about a proper business plan. Um, Going back to JVZoo, what will happen here is when the customer wants to buy the product, they will actually register with JVZoo uh, at this point somewhere to be able to buy the product. Now, if they don't buy the product, you've lost out on the sale and that's it. JVZoo then have this customer's name and email, which you've paid for all that traffic to get to. They will then have this details and they will then continue to market and sell product off there themselves to your customer that you've now lost because they didn't purchase straight off. They will now cash in on the money that you've spent on traffic to continue to sell them the product which they may later say it could be two weeks, three weeks, a month down the line. They could then purchase the product and all the money will go to them. As you can see, not a great model. So when you start out as affiliate marketing, there are a lot of things that you need to learn to make yourself an entrepreneur and create your own business so that things like this don't happen. You then you need to set your, your business up so that you catch the emails uh, that these customers that you've paid for um, go into your email list that you will then be able to continue marketing to then cash in further down the line, which will increase your your uh, purchase rate from 5% to up to about 20%, 25%, uh, where you can see where you can make a lot more income and become in that top 10% of people that are actually making it online. So there, there are, and I don't want to, hope I've not confused you too much with that, but there are a lot of things that you need to learn prior to diving into affiliate marketing um, to ensure your future success and to build yourself a solid online business. Um, I think I'm going to leave it at that just for now because this was supposed to be just a short intro into what affiliate marketing is. If you're on my website, um, just visit my training page. Uh, I'll put a link below this video somewhere. If you're not on my website, there'll be a, a link to my website. Or if you are, great, go to the trainings page and there's an affiliate marketing challenge, which is on there, which you can get started with. Now that teaches you absolutely everything you need to do, setting up your business before you dive into it, to make sure that you get every penny, every cent from all the marketing that you pay for to ensure your future success as an affiliate marketer. Okay, I hope that's helped. Um, thanks very much for staying and watching. It's a bit longer than I thought it was gonna be. And, and hopefully I will see you in one of my next videos. So thanks very much.